Hey guys, welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I want to show my graphics settings for Cyberpunk 2077 on the Steam Deck OLED. Now, if we go to settings, and what you will notice is there's a quick preset called Steam Deck, and this will allow you to get a consistent 30 frames per second. And the refresh rates of both the LCD and OLED Steam Decks are perfectly divisible by 30. 30 goes into the LCD Steam Deck twice and goes into the OLED Steam Deck three times. And especially for a handheld screen, I think 30 frames per second will be totally fine for most people. But for me, 30 frames per second isn't quite enough. Ideally for my OLED Steam Deck I'd love to have at least 90 frames per second because the refresh rate of the OLED Steam Deck is 90 hertz. But that is not going to happen, there's absolutely no chance of hitting 90 frames per second. Even with all the graphics settings set to lowest and FSR set to ultra performance, we're not going to hit 90 frames per second. I don't think we'll even hit 60 frames per second. There's absolutely no chance. Cyberpunk is a very, very demanding game when it comes to graphics, and aiming for a stable 90 or 60 is really a fool's errand. So this is where we need a little bit of out-of-the-box thinking. So whilst 90 and 60 frames per second are off the table and 30 frames per second is a bit too low for me, there is another number we haven't looked at, and that's 45 frames per second, which is quite an unusual FPS number. It's one you don't really hear very many people talk about, but 90 hertz perfectly divides by two when using 45 frames a second. So you're getting two screen refreshes for every one frame. So this allows the Steam Deck OLED to facilitate much smoother motion than 30 frames per second. So firstly, on your Steam Deck device, click the little button that has the three dots, and this will take you to the performance menu, and then go down, and where it says disable frame limit, make sure that is switched on because we don't want to enable any frame limits here and then come out of that. Next, go back to Cyberpunk and go to the video settings and then go down to VSync. So currently VSync is off, but we want to change that to 90. And then you can just hit apply and then go to maximum FPS and make sure this is switched on. So currently it's set to 30 and we can bump that up to 45. and then hit apply. And then go to resolution. You can either leave that at 720 or you can change it to 800, which is the Steam Deck's native screen resolution. I'm just gonna leave that at 720 for now. And then go to HDR mode, currently set to none, and change this to HDR10 SC RGB. And this will allow us to take advantage of the HDR screen on your Steam Deck. And go to apply, and done. Now go to your graphics setting and go to the quick preset at the top. And the settings that work really well for me are if you go down to medium, and then go down to AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.1 and change this to balance. And then hit apply. Now these settings get me around 45 FPS, but with occasional dips, but for the most part, you'll be hovering around 44 to 45 frames a second. If you find that these settings don't work very well for you, if you go to quick preset and just change this to low and then change the FSR from auto to balanced and then hit apply, this should bring you closer to 45 frames a second. But for me, I prefer to use medium and balanced and then hit apply and then feel free to play the game. I'll stop now and I will leave you with the benchmark itself.